So for this unit, we're going to have to do a little bit of review of graphing. So now, every time we're given a point, we're always given two points. The first one is the side to side, and the second one is up and down. So keep that in mind. It's always sideways first, up and down next. If we go sideways, positive is to the right, negative is to the left, up and down, up is positive, down is negative. We always start at the origin, which is zero, zero. And if it helps you to remember, think of it like going to a library. And the libraries are all the, the books are all the way to the ceiling, and you need a ladder to get to the top. Well, you have to move the ladder sideways, then you can climb to the top of the ceiling. So three, one. Sideways three, positive three, positive one up. And just write the letter beside it. Pause the video, try out the rest of them, and then check the answers when you're done. So B is five, negative one, five positive to the right, negative one down. C, one, negative three, one positive, negative three is downwards. And D, two, zero. All the zeros can be tricky, so we're going sideways, two, up and down, zero. Two, zero, like that. E, negative four, three, so negative four to the left, three up. F, negative one, zero. G is negative five, negative three. And H is zero sideways, so we just go up two. Be careful with the zeros. So for the next part, we're gonna evaluate. And what this means is we have an equation, but they tell us what X is. We have Y and X, but with two unknowns, we can't actually solve it. But with this, we're gonna plug this into the X and solve. So three times two, minus nine. So X was two, that's what we started with. The Y is negative three. We get an ordered pair from it. So the whole point of evaluating is we plug something in that we know, we get an answer, and then we can graph. If we go to the graph, we would do two, negative three. So let's try this one. This time we have a fraction. We're gonna plug it in. So when we multiply by a fraction, we're gonna multiply the top. Negative two times three, and then we can divide by two. So this becomes negative three plus 13, and we get 10. So our ordered pair, we started with three halves. This is my x, this is my y. That's what we're trying to do. And the last one, we have a squared. We're gonna put it into two places, everywhere there's an x. And be careful, if there's a negative number and you're substituting, put brackets around it if there's an exponent, because we need to square the negative and the three. And we get our ordered pair. So that's evaluating. They give us a value, we plug it in, and find the value of y. So we're gonna learn about functional notation. And this is just a continuation of evaluating that we've already done. The only difference is we're gonna change y equals x plus three. We're gonna use f of x. The f stands for function. You can use any letter you want. It's just the function of x instead of using y. So an example here is we have y equals seven x minus four. We get rid of the y and replace it with f of x. Now you'll notice that this x must be matching on the other side. We can use any letter here. G, we could use C. This can be any letter, but this has to match the variable on the other side. So in this one, we're going to get rid of P. We've got U on the other side. So the function of U. So the function of U depends on how many units we plug into the equation. 
So if we have this one here, f of three, this means we're just gonna take this three and replace both x's. So the function of three, f of three, is three plus seven equals 10. And basically this gives us an ordered pair just like the last section. So we started with three, three is the x, 10 is the y. Even though we're not using y, the answer is the y coordinate in the ordered pair. So this one, we've got f of three again, but we have a different function to use. So f of three is seven times three minus five. So we started with three is the x. This one is the same equation, but now we've got f of negative two. We get a different value. So negative two, negative 19. And the third one has a fraction, so we're gonna plug it in. Seven times one. Seven times one is seven, divide by two. So in this case, one half we start with, or 0 0.5, we end with negative 1.5. And this one's different. This one, we don't have an x. We have the answer, we have f of x. So we're gonna take this 37 and replace f of x. And because we don't have x, we have to use algebra to work backwards. Divide by seven, and we get our x value. So when we do the ordered pair, we start with the x, finish with 37. So pause the video, try and do as many of these as you can and see, check your answers after you're, you've tried it. Okay, so this one, f of x equals seven, so this becomes seven. Subtract three. This one, f of four means x is four. Exponent first, then multiply. This one, we have the answer. So we have to do algebra. We've got multiplication and an exponent. We always follow SAMDIP. So we have multiplication and exponent. We always do multiplication before the exponent. So divide by five. Then we have to square root the opposite of a square. And we get x. And this last one, it's f of negative three. So x is negative three. With this one, make sure when you use a negative, put brackets around it. Both the negative and the three are getting squared. 